you're here at the store. Hey, there's Peter Quattro. Peter, how are you? I'm pretty good. All the better for seeing you. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's great to see you again. Uh, Peter, this is the home of Audio Note. Uh, this was, this where we're standing was the beginning of Audio Note. Well, it was the beginning of my audio career, whether it was a bit, uh, it, uh, as a result of that. As a result of that. Uh, also, the beginning of audio innovations and audio notes. Uh, what <coughs> year did you uh, take uh, this lease? I took the lease on, I signed the lease on the 16th of February 1979. Really, coming here is standing in history. And then over the years, uh, you have leased uh, uh, space uh, adjacent to this original mm -hmm. space here yeah. and grown out the shop. Yeah. Yeah, viewers, this is uh, one of ten audio shops in Copenhagen, Denmark. And uh, Anders told me uh, that it's uh, just a little bit smaller than the largest shop. Yeah. And every other shop is much smaller than this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, this shop is uh, specializes, of course, in audio note equipment and uh, uh, music and the m emotional attachment to music itself. Yeah. And wait till you see what Anders is going to show us. It's just, okay. it's just, it's going to blow your mind. Okay, viewers, let's meet the proprietor of Audio Consult, Anders van Espensen. Anders, how are you today? Fine, fine. Uh, this store is just, uh, as I just told Peter, it, this is audio heaven. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, there's a seating area, which we're going to see in just a moment, viewers, uh, where you can look at vintage hi-fi magazines. We have Wire World dating back to 1918. Uh, <laughs> bottles of wine on the wall for you to... In, uh, have a beverage and read and show me the shop and show me the listening rooms, please. Yes, welcome. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you very mm -hmm. much. Here we go. Uh, this is a uh, part of one third of Peter Quattro's record collection resides here at mm -hmm. Audio Consult. Here's a part of it. Mm -hmm. And then the magazines. And this is what we just mentioned. Uh, please bring us in. Uh, uh, if you could offer us a Danish or two, since we are in Denmark. So please show us about this room here. So this is uh, this is where people can come and uh, enjoy themselves and yes. have a chat and uh, uh, meet, discuss, discuss yeah, the, the hi-fi and uh, the music, mm -hmm. and have a coffee or something else mm -hmm. <laughs> if they like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the wonder of it is the it's the magazines and as we uh, mentioned, Wire World, Wireless World. Excuse me. My goodness gracious, this one's from 1948. You learn a lot by reading. Yes, you do. Uh, this is the days of uh, audio journalism was very different back in the 1940s. And it was very much how the components actually worked. So here's the rest of the magazines. And let's move on to some of the listening rooms. Here we go. Okay, Anderson, what do we have in this room? Um, some more audio stuff. Showing some very nice amplifiers, the Gene Rose. Yeah, we saw mm -hmm. these from the street as we came up and knocked on the door. CDC 6, one of the best transports. Yeah, viewers, this transport is unique in that it is an umbilical cord over to the power supply, and the power supply is a tube power supply. Yeah. It's uh, the only uh, CD transport with its own uh, separate tube power supply, yeah. uh, which makes it uh, the most unique CD transport in the world. And together with the Level 5 uh, DAC and its own power supply, uh, the fifth uh, element and yes. the fifth force uh, make to me, the best, best uh, digital playback system for Redbook uh, in existence today. And the Redbook that from this, these machines, it's just, uh, it's just as enjoyable and harmonically enveloping as vinyl, in my opinion. So what else do we have? Inter integrated amps from Odino and integrated uh, CDs mm -hmm. to show. And then mm -hmm. we have... Uh, a little mug up from a lingo. Okay. <laughs> People are very fond of lingo at the moment. Mm -hmm. And we have, of course, the Danish tone arm, Merck DP6. And we have here a prototype loudspeaker. Yes, a new Danish one. Maybe it will come. We'll see if that comes to market. I hope so for the designers. Yeah. We already had uh, uh, a friend from uh, from US who was interested in buying them. Hey, very good. So it could be 
exported through US. Okay, how about that? Well, over here we have a listening station uh, for personal listening devices. What's your favorite personal listening device that we're looking at up here on the wall? Which one do you like the best? Um, hmm. or, uh, one which, of the Hi-Fi yeah. Mant. Well, with the Hi-Fi <laughs> Mant, okay. Yeah. At the moment. Okay, okay. Well, then you've heard it from an expert. Hi-Fi Man gets the vote here at Audio Console. My good. Well, let's see another room, please. Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay. And then downstairs, look at this. Oh, my gosh. The look and the smell of music, and look at the stairs we come down. Oh my. So watch your step coming down. Come down with me. And enter more of audio heaven. Beautiful. It's just beautiful down here. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, do you know uh, signature speakers? Mm -hmm. E model. Okay. Separate crossovers again. Mm -hmm. Or do you know make a very um, a different speakers in uh, every model? K, J, O, E. All with the same different signature. Different levels of quality. Yes. Yeah. And, yep. and then some signature models mm -hmm. too. When you move up the audio note food chain, you're getting just a little bit more refinement yes. every step of the way. Oh, look at this over here. Oh, what a great listening space this is. Here we have pre-amplifiers and power amplifiers. Oh, beautiful. And folks, again, uh, we're, uh, we're very close to the center of uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. Well, let's take a closer look. Okay, and which amplifiers are these again? This is a <coughs> Quest Silver. Okay. Yes. Gorgeous. I think we saw some some of these. We we're going to see at the actual factory in uh, Brighton or near Brighton. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep. And then you have the M5 phono stage. Mm -hmm. The DAC DAC3. Mm -hmm. CDT2 and one and zero. Again, we have a. Uh, turntable deluxe. Mm -hmm. Th this one is a TT1, mm -hmm. one motor. Mm -hmm. Arm one and the IO, uh, um, IQ3. Okay, MM. Okay, moving magnet. Yes. Okay, let's come around to the second room on the lower level here. Uh, another little slice of audio heaven. Yeah, we have some Sonos Fable. Speakers, clear audio turntable, mm -hmm. and then audio note in integrated amps mm -hmm. to listen to. Beautiful, beautiful equipment. This is the Sorrow Line stage. Yes. And what's below it? And then we have the phono. Okay. Yeah, push pull. Okay. And uh, a funnel single ended. So people can choose. So people what can choose like. between the yeah. two. Yeah. What do they prefer? I love the artwork. It's all original art. Yeah. And I'll circle the camera around so you can get a feel for the room. Yes, we have a very Danish feel about this room. Oh, I love that painting. Uh, what is the system here? This is an audio note system, level 5. Okay. We have, of course, the Ongako. Um, mm -hmm. Integrated amp. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. It is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we have the M9 pre amplifier mm -hmm. with funnel stage. Mm -hmm. We have a DAC5 and a CDT5. Mm -hmm. TT2 Deluxe turntable, two motors. Mm -hmm. And we're using an ARM3 and an IO Gold. Yeah, I uh, just uh, removed the IO Gold from uh, my system and we have an IO Limited uh, that mm -hmm. we're uh, uh, That's cool. just put into place. Yeah. It's very nice. It is very nice. And then we have the Transformers ANS9. Yes, I have that Transformer as well. Now the IO Gold, uh, it puts out point 
zero four millivolt, and that is impossibly low. Uh, most cartridges, uh, moving coil cartridges, put out uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3 is pretty much the low point, uh, but 0 0.04, uh, it just is unheard of. Yes, we know. <laughs> But it, is, it gives the, the speed in the music. It does. Yeah. It sure does because it has less windings. Mm -hmm. uh, less windings equals exactly. more music. Yes. And the type of the audio note E speaker with mm -hmm. separate uh, crossovers. Mm -hmm. All yes. silver and Alnico magnets. Uh, that's a similar model to mine. I have uh, an A N E S E C. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, this one is a similar model with yep. the outboard crossover yeah, too. Yeah, signature model. Yes. Yeah, the signature model. Well, before we move on to the next room, uh, let's uh, play a little music and let the viewers listen, if we could, please. Yep. <laughs> sound in this room. Uh, you really do know how to set up an audio system. Thank you. Okay, let's go into another room please. Yeah. Now Anders, I understand once you buy a component or if you haven't bought a component here, you do repair components as well. Yes, of course. So and let me uh, show us where that, where you work. I love to look at the workbench yeah. of technicians. Re repair and upgrade stuff if people like, like that. It's so a little working station. Scope and a signal generator and a uh, soldering iron and uh, this is a nice workstation here and a very good light uh, yeah. to, to then we show have your work. Some tubes. And if your tube fails we have a nice stock here. And you have access to the whole audio note uh, tube yes, of inventory yes, uh, yes. based in England so that the tubes can be overnighted up here. Uh, for a client who's desperate to get his music system back up and running. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, good. Thank you very much for such a wonderful, wonderful tour of Audio Console. And I'd uh, love to shake your hand. I think you must be, and maybe, uh, the most lucky man in the world. Probably. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Anders from Audio Console. <laughs>